Hi everybody, meteorologist Joe Chaffee here, weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst. Plan ahead for your next holiday season, your complete holiday lighting specialist meeting all your decorating needs. 631-957-5106. The website is liholidaylighting.com. And brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware. They're getting ready for spring, and so should you. Uh, with spring arriving this weekend, time to get the yard in order. They have got mulch, gravel, topsoil, and everything you need to get your yard in tip-top shape. They're at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. 631-756-1125 is the telephone number for the best prices in town omnitruevalue.com. Okay, so uh, the next thing on the agenda is going to be rain, and we are seeing it as of 7 a.m. Uh, on the radar, uh, loading up uh, down in Virginia and into southern Pennsylvania, uh, back into the Ohio Valley. We have another day of severe weather to get through after yesterday, uh, where there were more than two dozen tornadoes, at least, if not more. And we are going to have our severe weather risk shift today to the east. The Storm Prediction Center has uh, actually uh, improved. This forecast has improved slightly from yes yesterday. The enhanced risk area is now smaller. Uh, the moderate risk area is even smaller. It uh, covers uh, coastal uh, eastern north eastern South Carolina and southwestern uh, southeastern North Carolina. Uh, so basically, it looks like from just north of Charleston uh, to uh, about uh, just south of Cape Hatteras, right in that zone, and working its way inland by about 75 miles or so. And the enhanced risk goes a bit further back. Uh, into uh, central North Carolina and western South Carolina, southeastern Georgia. The slight risk uh, north and west of there and extends as far north as West Virginia and southern Ohio. So a slightly smaller area of, of risk, but uh, still elevated risk in many locations in the southeastern part of the United States. So we expect to see that radar that I showed you to get rather busy as we... Uh, uh, go through the rest of the day. So uh, as far as we're concerned here, the question that has come up a few times, I have con I have consistently said that I am not impressed with any kind of changeover to snow on the backside of this for late tonight into tomorrow morning, and I continue to remain unimpressed. This is the latest GFS, uh, which shows rain overhead, and I think the rain here actually could be substantial, a good solid soaking rain. I, most areas will probably average around an inch and a half. This is at two o'clock this afternoon. The rain continues uh, tonight. Low pressure moves uh, from southern Illinois to southern Ohio uh, and then crosses uh, Virginia here. You start to see tonight a change over to snow on the northern flank in northern Pennsylvania and up into southern New York State. And look what happens between midnight and, and 2 a.m. Most of the precip has already pushed out to the east and is gone. The, the This model argues that you may just see the rain come to an end and that's it and a minimal amount of snow on the northwestern side as the low moves out to the east and colder air starts to come in on Friday. In fact, there's a little bit of leftover precip because there's a the, the wave gets stretched out so there's some leftover precip tomorrow down in uh, Virginia and uh, into North Carolina and there's a little bit of snow on the northern flank there but then of course it's all gone and the high builds in for the weekend. So weather conditions will start to improve and we'll probably go to some go to sunshine during the day on Friday and the temperatures uh, are going to have a tough time. Uh, we'll be down in the uh, 30s uh, by morning and we'll probably only get back into the lower 40s at best, upper 30s to let's say upper 30s to middle 40s at best for highs tomorrow afternoon. The high settles overhead and then for the weekend, I think Saturday looks great, sunshine, uh, 40s to near 50. And then on Sunday, uh, with the high on top of us and starting to slide out to the east, I think we could see temperatures in the 50s to around 60 degrees. So that'll be a good, uh, that'll certainly be a good thing. Spring arrives on Saturdays, the first weekend of spring. Uh, not too shabby, a little chilly on Saturday, a little uh, warmer on Sunday. Now, next week, uh, the issue for me is the position of that high 
and the possibility that we could have to deal with somewhat of an onshore flow. I don't think it means any rain. We don't really see the model showing any rain, but it may produce some cloud issues and hold temperatures down, particularly along coastal areas. Inland areas will have an easier time taking temperatures up into the, into the 60s, but we might see coastal areas struggle a bit uh, for Monday into Tuesday. And then, of course, as we move into the latter part of next week, here comes the next uh, cold front uh, that will approach here uh, Wednesday night and Thursday, and that could set us up maybe for another soaking rain, um, say, a week from now. So most of the time after we get through this weather system for tonight and for early tomorrow morning, we should be, uh, we should be pretty much okay. Now, as far as rainfall is concerned, uh, we're seeing some, some hefty amounts here, uh, some places approaching two inches uh, in their forecasts in parts of central New Jersey and in uh, eastern Pennsylvania. In general, from northeast Virginia on up into southern New England, we're looking at, I would say, an average rainfall amount of about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half, and some places will be a bit higher, and some places uh, will be a bit lower. And as far as the uh, snow is concerned, uh, this is WPC's forecast for the probability. I've really lowered the threshold down for the probability of at least an inch of snow, because if I put the two-inch amount, it gets uh, pretty, pretty small. But uh, you'll notice the dark brown is a 1% to 5% chance of, um, of, of at least an inch of snow. So you can see the probabilities of any kind of even a light slushy accumulation is very low. I like to use the 50% line, which is that uh, not the dark blue, but the light blue as the likely area where we'll see a, a solid inch of accumulation. And we're talking here pretty much north and west of Route 84 as the most likely area that could wind up with, a, say, a slushy coating to maybe an inch or two out of whatever changeover happens tonight. And if the, some of the models are correct, we'll probably, uh, you may not see very much uh, at all out of this. Weather in 5, uh, brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon as they're getting ready for spring, which arrives on Saturday. They got everything you need, mulch, topsoil, and more. 1226 North Wellwood Avenue, West Babylon, 631-756-1125. And the website is omnitruevalue.com. And your complete holiday lighting specialist at Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst. Plan ahead for your next holiday season, whether you want to get your home decorated or you want to do the decorating. Give them a call, 631-957-5106. And the website is li holidaylighting.com. So get ready, folks. It's going to be another busy radar day. Uh, soaking rain in the northeast and northern mid-Atlantic states, uh, definitely much needed so and much welcomed. So we'll get through that, and then we can finally uh, head into this weekend with the arrival of spring on Saturday. So have a good day. Uh, Joe and Joe show tonight at 7.30 Eastern time. We're not 100% sure whether we're going to be able to do it or not as I have some things to take care of today. Um, so anyhow, uh, we'll let you know later on if, uh, if we are indeed doing our regular nightly show. Have a great Thursday, everybody.